Hey HCG family, it's Mimi. It's been a while, I just want to do a quick check-in to let you know that I'm about ready to wrap up round two, um, P2. I wanted to go to the end of this month. I don't know if I've got enough HCG. Uh, I do sublingual, I mixed it up, don't my doggy thinks I'm talking to him. Um, I thought maybe I did to go all the way to the 30th of this month, but I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. So, uh, probably this weekend, well, let's see, what is today? Or don't you know, 27th, I don't have my book. Anyway, um, my plan was to finish out this month, then May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, um, very low calorie without HCG, and then this weekend, my anniversary is the 2nd of May, but um, we didn't have any plans or anything like that, but I've got like a big old steak and uh thought maybe this that weekend next weekend we could kind of have that steak and have a salad and asparagus or something like that so anyway that's that's where i'm at this puts me today i believe on 47 of the very low calorie uh at the end of this month would put me at 50 days and um, I feel good. I I went to my sister's shop today to help her and, you know, swept the floor and and uh, did stuff like that. And I wore, I put my size, grabbed a pair of jeans and put my size 12s on. And I thought, I thought, man, I don't want to be working and sweeping and doing that because what if. And I couldn't believe how loose they were around my legs. Now they were they weren't tight around my waist. They weren't slack though on my waist. I mean they they weren't uncomfortable, but on my legs there was like room and I'm like the smallest pair of jeans I've ever been in in my whole life would be 11. I don't think I've ever even a teenager 17 years old uh, I got a picture of me sitting on my mom's car that uh, a girlfriend took of me when I was 17. And uh, I don't remember those jeans that were tucked into the boots. I don't even think those were any smaller than a 14, actually. They might have been a 12. I don't know. I don't, it's, the number 12 just doesn't sound as familiar to me as the size 14 does. But I think sizes have changed a lot too so that might have something to do with it so but anyway so that that's the deal it looks like I might be going in a little bit earlier into uh, p3 well we'll see but I doubt it I just took my dose and it looks a little iffy so anyway that's it just checking in this has been a awesome round going this long which I can't believe that I've gone this long and uh, I'll give like stats I've had uh, stalls um, but nothing that I always it seems like I always have if I get out of you know you get out of the 200s and you're right there so it's 200 199, 201, 198, 199, 200, you know, it's like that off and on, or it's, um, uh, this week it's been like, uh, three days at, I say it was three days at 182.7, one, or 0. 0.4, 182.8, 182.6, 182, 182.2, .8, .6, and today it was 181.6. So I'm still not down to uh, 
to the weight that I was when I did HCG in 2010, which I believe I got as far as 179, and that's as far as I got. And I, you know, I went up a little bit. I just, you know, not, I never did go over at all, but um, I did, uh, it didn't, it didn't stay, so, and like I said, I gained all the weight back, so, um, anyway, but this round still has been really good, it's been, for going as long as I have, which I know some people go way longer, um, it, it, it hasn't been a I mean, the stalls are, are frustrating, but it wasn't enough to where I was willing to, you know, just to end it. So it's kind of been um, really more of a balance uh, psychologically, I think. So anyway, um, looking forward to phase three and going to do that for the 21 days, go into phase four, which is in June, which I won't be going back on HCG in June because we have vacation planned. Uh, I was thinking about July, and that was the for sure thing, but now my husband is juicing, and I'd really like to start doing that and, um, and see how I do with that. Um, I plan on doing some in phase three also. I I know somebody asked somebody a question and I haven't had a chance to listen to a lot of the um the vlogs yet, but about eating fruit in phase three. Uh the times that I've done phase three, I never did eat any fruit whatsoever. I didn't eat the apple or strawberry and I think I mean, I know you're supposed to uh you know, I mean my mom's like a diabetic and low glycemic um fruits, um, which oranges is not low glycemic, so, but anyway, if I can do that in juice and I can use like a, um, an apple or, um, probably mostly an apple, then I'd be happy with that to mix with, you know, chard and kale and spinach um, I know carrots are high. They like uh, there's a lot of sugar, so I think I could go without a carrot. But I would really like to be able to do a couple of juices during the day, just to really give my body that jump start of all the nutrients. So we'll see. You know, still, I just don't know. You know, I don't want ever to say, say, well, I'm going to do this. But my plan was to uh, do another round in July because my daughter was having her baby in July. So there wasn't any reason for me to not going out of town or any place. So, but I will see. So that's it. I'm going to keep it short. Um, I hope everybody is doing wonderful. I know there's a lot of people that are starting in phase two and oh, it's so hard to to listen to phase tours because when you're trying you're maintaining and you want to be releasing and I'd still like to release about 30 more pounds and uh, but I I feel great and um, so we'll we'll see so I hope everybody has an awesome weekend Big hug to my HCG family. Good night.